Hi, I'm Joe Heath, and I'm a projectionist. One of the perks of working for a movie theater is that I get to see free movies each week, so I've decided to watch and review a new movie every other week. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, that's a great idea. I wish I could be involved. Well, you can, because you get to vote for what movie I watch and review next. And that, in a nutshell, is The Projectionist Project. Check it out. That sounds like an okay idea. Joe, came as soon as I could. Joe, hello? Hmm. Dearest Fun Bags, I'm sorry that I can't be there in person to watch my review with you. Alas, I am needed elsewhere. I would greatly appreciate if you would carry on my mission in my absence. Where did you go? You may be asking where I went. You probably literally just asked that question out loud. You know me? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, to answer your question, I have to tell you a story. After the people had chosen what movie I would review, I was magically transported to the theater via my car. The movie I would watch would have a profound effect on me. I would soon enter a magical and mysterious world unlike any I had ever seen before. To learn more, please sit at my table and watch my review. I could at least fix some snacks. I'm starving. Cool. Thanks. What's that about? Fine, Grumpy. John Carter is a movie about John Carter, played by Gambit. Through an interesting series of events, John Carter finds a mysterious cave, kills an alien, and winds up on Mars. Or as the locals call it, Barsoom. After taking some time to get used to the new gravity in a hilarious scene where he falls down a lot, Carter discovers he has the amazing ability to jump really well. He quickly runs into a group of Tharks, a race of tall, green, four-armed Martians. One of the Tharks tries to communicate with Carter with hilarious results due to them not speaking the same language. There's a lot of comedy woven throughout the movie, and it works 95% of the time. There's possibly some unintended comedy due to a few of John Carter's lines being read kind of cheesily, but it doesn't happen often, and it doesn't really detract from the enjoyment of the movie. Anyway, Carter is captured by the leader of the Tharks, Tars Tarkas, played by the Green Goblin, and the guy who wants to be leader, Tal Hodges, played by Sandman. Elsewhere on Barsoom are two cities, Zodanga and Helium. Zodanga is a giant moving city with, like, mechanical legs and stuff. It's pretty awesome. The leader of Zodanga is the power-hungry and warlike Sabthan, played by Theron. Sabthan is led by the Therns, a mysterious group of shapeshifters, led by Mata Shang, played by Sinestro. The Therns give Sabthan a super weapon called the Ninth Ray. It basically reconstructs into whatever you want it to be, and also blows stuff up. The special effects for it were really awesome. Anyway, Sabthon plans to take over Helium. He's made a deal with their leader, Tardis Mors, played by Aberforth Dumbledore, to marry the princess, Deja Thoris, played by Silver Fox. Deja doesn't like this plan, escapes, and meets John Carter. Let the adventures and romance begin! I didn't expect there to be such an intricate plot, so I was pleasantly surprised that there was one. There's a lot going on in this movie, and all of it is really interesting. The war between Helium and Zodanga, the culture of the Tharks, the story behind the Therns, the romance between Carter and Deja, it's all done incredibly well. The movie feels a bit long with all of these plot elements, but at no point did I lose interest, feel lost, or feel like it was dragging. It was a fun ride, and I enjoyed every minute of it. All of the characters were great and well acted. John Carter and Deja Thoris were particularly impressive and had great chemistry. 
Deja sometimes fell into the damsel in distress role, but quite frequently turned that trope on its head. The villains had interesting motives, and the dynamic between Sop Thon and the Therns was always intriguing. But what particularly impressed me was the Tharks. Especially the relationship between Tars Tarkas and Sola, played by Agatha. It was at times heartbreaking, at times cruel, and at times very sweet. Also, I kept forgetting that the Tharks were CG characters. They were so seamlessly integrated with the rest of the cast. Speaking of CG characters, I really love the comic relief pet dog thing, Woola. He's just so ugly and cute at the same time. He's beautifully animated and lots of fun. He's utterly adorable and I just want one and I want to pet him. In addition to being able to jump well, John Carter also has increased strength, which of course leads to some amazingly awesome action scenes. The most fun being the gladiator arena battle in which John Carter has to fight two giant white apes. The way that scene ends is so amazingly badass. My favorite battle scene though is the one which interweaved flashbacks to John's past with his family. It was beautiful. And also Woola got in on the action. Did I mention I want a Woola? I want a Woola. Man, I wish I could go to Mars and get superpowers and have fantastic adventures. And maybe I can. Ok, ohim, octe, wis, barsoom! Now that you have seen the review, you understand why I had to leave. John Carter needs me, and now I need you. You are the key to carrying on the projectionist project. Upload the review before it's too late. I thank you for your help. I won't fail you, Joe! As you know, Joe has left us for Mars. But I vow to continue on. I will review the movies that need to be reviewed. And I know it may take just a little bit of time, but eventually, just maybe, you'll find it in your heart to accept me as the proper replacement. And eventually you may think I'm just a little bit better than Joe was. I mean, I know that he just, he was a little bit long-winded sometimes. And I mean, he had that just that really stupid face. So, what are you doing? Um, I thought you were on Mars! What? Why? You said you were going to Mars to help John Carter. No, I'm helping John Carter by seeing the movie. You know it's not doing well, right? Are you trying to take over my review? You said I could! You said I was the key to the review! No, I just meant upload the review while I'm away! Well, what was all that key talk? I mean, I'm the key! That, that means I'm the new review guy, right? No! It means fun bags is my YouTube password. Did you not upload the review? Oh, Isis, it's going to be so late. Where's my laptop? It's over there. So you didn't go to Mars. You're an idiot. And get out of my vest! Do it! So all in all, John Carter was a fun, action-packed movie with a great story, great characters, and great visuals. Go see it. And get me a Woola. Please? Your choices are, based on a TV show, based on a book, the Snow White and the Huntsman prequel, the Hangover prequel, the Spy vs. Spy reboot, and the sequel to a reboot. Vote for the movie you think I should review next in the sidebar on minipineapple.com. Also, feel free to come to the Carmike Battlefield 10 Cinemas in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia to watch the movie with me. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr to find out what movie I'll be watching next and when. And again, vote for the movie you think I should review next in the sidebar on minipineapple.com. See ya!